Today I want to talk to you about the Task Manager. The Task Manager is a simple tool, but it's one of the most important tools that you'll use inside Windows. Uh, the simplest way to open Task Manager is to press Control Shift Escape. You can also get to it by pressing Control Alt Delete and then clicking Start Task Manager. Now when you open Task Manager, you'll see that there's several tabs at the top. We'll just go from left to right, starting with Applications. The Applications tab shows you all the applications that are currently running on your system. It's basically the same thing you'll see down here on your taskbar. You see CMonkey, Excel, Word, and the Applications tab. You see the same thing down here on the bar. But there's a lot of other things running. All these programs in the notification area are also running. If you notice down here in the bottom left hand corner it says there's 84 processes running. So there's a lot more running on your system than just these three applications. Uh, from the Applications tab, you can end a task if something wants to lock up. You can click on it and click End Task. I'll close Word that way. Or you can right-click on it and click End Task. Or you can click Go to Process. That takes you to the second tab, which is the Processes tab. You can also get to the Process tab by clicking on the tab at the top of the menu. Now this shows you all of the processes that are running. You'll have a process for each of those applications and then you're going to have a lot of other processes for the behind the scenes applications. For instance, uh, uTorrent is currently running. You can see it down here in the notification area. If I click on it, you'll see it as an application. But if I close it, it's still in the notification area and there's still a process running. Now, once again you can end these processes if something bad was to happen just by clicking end process. Now, Usually you don't have to do that if uh, everything's you're running well but occasionally you will have something lock up or you may have a uh, malware or something show up in your process menu. It usually will not show up in an application, but more often than not you can find it by looking at the process tab. There's a couple of different ways you can figure out what all these are. Some of them are pretty self-explanatory. avgtray.exe. If you know you have AVG antivirus, you can pretty much assume that that is part of your antivirus. Then there's other things like csrss.exe. What in the world is that? Well, there's a couple of things we can do. We can right-click on it. And some programs will have Go to Service. That'll take you to the Services tab. And that might just show you uh, more details on what that program is. But on CSRSS, there is no Go to Service. So what can we do? Well, the simplest thing to do is to go to your favorite search engine, such as Google, and tap it in. C S R S S dot E X E. Press enter. Go ahead and minimize the task manager for a moment. And this will bring up a number of pages which should be able to explain what that process is. I just click on the top one here. Client server runtime process from Microsoft Windows. Threat rating is none. So that seems like it's safe. I usually like to check a few of these websites. Sometimes you'll get some bad information from one. So click on a few of them and if they all say it's okay, it's probably okay. PCPitstop.com is a, a good place to go. ProcessLibrary.com is another one. They have pretty good descriptions on just about anything that you might run across. Now the Services tab is similar to Processes. Uh, they're a little bit better named so you can actually tell what some of these processes are doing. Where in the process you might just get wcncsvc.exe and here you can tell it's Windows Connect Now Config Registrar. That's still not incredibly helpful but at least you have a, a place to start if you're trying to figure out what that is. Once again you can go to Google and look it up. On the other tabs you have the Performance tab which shows you your CPU and memory performance. That's a dual core processor in this system so you're going to have two windows and a quad core you'd have four a single core you'd have one. And you notice that uh, I'm running about 27, 25, 20 percent. It's bouncing up and down but in general uh, it's not very bogged down. 
Now say you were maxed out and you were wondering what was causing that, you can go back to your process tab and click on CPU up here at the top and it will show you which process is using the most processor at that time. You can see the camera recorder program is using the most right now, uh, which is the program I'm using to capture the screen. It's pretty much what you'd expect. If you have a, a file or a service that's really, you know, maxing out uh, your processor, if it's up to 99 and there's nothing going on, you may have a problem. You may have a virus. You may have an error. You can end that process, look it up, you know, see what's going on. But it's a good starting point. The performance tab also shows you your memory performance. I'm using one gigabyte of memory right now out of you know, two available in the system. And it's pretty much consistent, so I'm not having any memory trouble. Networking is a, another tab. As you can see, there's absolutely nothing going on in networking right now. Uh, I could probably generate a little bit of traffic if I was to go on the internet and uh, surf a few sites. Let's see, I'll go back here and reload a few times. And you can see I'm starting to get a tiny bit of reading. You can just barely see it down there. 0.12% of uh, my connectivity is being used. If you look right here, you see it's starting to spike just a little bit. But uh, that monitors your internet traffic as well as your home network traffic. Now if you see this, you know, climbing all the way to the top and you didn't think anything was going on, there's a good chance uh, you've left a torrent running and you didn't realize it, which could bog down your system. Or perhaps uh, there is a virus or, or another malware program that is accessing uh, some internet site and transferring traffic. Or something could be updating. There's a lot of things that could cause that to go up. Uh, but you should, you should generally try to keep an eye on what exactly is going on in your system. And that's uh, what Task Manager is all about. The last tab is the Users tab. And this just shows you uh, the users that are currently logged in on your system. This is a single user system, so there's nothing really exciting uh, right now, you can disconnect or log off from this point. But in general, you just use the Start menu to do those tasks. Finally, you can click File, New Task, which is Run. And you can run commands from there, like the, the command prompt, for instance. Uh, this is useful if, uh, for some reason, your Start Bar stops working. You can still get in here and run a program. And that pretty much covers all of Task Manager. It's a great place to diagnose your system, especially if you're trying to track down malware, viruses, or anything like that. If you have an error in your process or a file that's just not working right, doesn't seem to close properly or open properly, you can come in here, find the process, close it down, restart it, and usually that'll fix the problem.